Welcome back to the SCG Game Night here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside the future pro, Alfian Poon. Hey guys. It's round three, the last round of our weekly standard tournament watching the match between Danny Seed and oh, Ed Lewis Ang. It looks like... Weird, no? Yeah, it's too much to Ed Lewis side. You see... <sighs> you want me to... I'll do it. I'll no, do it. no, no, no. It's fine. Right. It's fine. It, it's like every time players sit down at the table i don't know how i, I i'm gonna go full table. i don't know how you sit down at a table but clearly it involves pushing the table back and forth because i adjusted it such that it was like right in the middle at the beginning of this this thing and then yeah players when they sit down they gotta push the table no you gotta bang the Some table you gotta earthquake. bang this thing yeah earthquake every it's time you see that go oh, and then the table's all center definitely yeah then he just has to tremors. every time a player sits down <laughs> that's one damage, damage to the, to the table. table yeah so holy shit <laughs> <laughs> so yeah just watch me complain uh, this entire game about uh yeah, yeah. So, just uh, disrespect to the feature match area. How is it just? <laughs> uh, right, then he has this game. Yeah, it seems like we see at Lois Ang play last round. He was playing a Colossus. Colossus yeah. Deck. Well, obviously he's still playing a Colossus deck, uh, but now it's a Jeskai Colossus. So, uh, gonna start off with Metal Spinners. Puzzle not gonna draw a card and just lose a life. That's okay. Yeah. Danny here, uh, lots of red mana. He has double blue uh, cards in his hand. Is that a Glimmer of Genius or is that a uh, Insidious like Will? Uh, Danny's probably gonna negate that. Mm -hmm. So that is number one negate, but um, he's got a card that's stuck in his hand, which is and not gonna do him any... His lens. Good, yeah, uh, <laughs> just getting stuck on lens there. Elu is going to gain one energy from that. Cast a foundry, what's that called? Foundry, uh, uh, something, whatever. Foundry, uh, foundry guy. And uh, yeah, Danny here just not having the lens to be able to cast anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ed Lewis just going to pass the turn. Probably going to crack the Metal Spinner's puzzle knot at the end of turn. No, he chooses not to. Okay, maybe just which is kind of weird. To wrap up to the to, uh, Colossus. 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 Yep. Okay. So he's going to draw a card off of the uh, Prophetic Prism. Is going to be a second Prophetic Prism. He's going to draw a card off of that. It's going to be pass like, the turn. Uh, running all those, uh, running Colossus into uh, Danny's hand. Summary dismissal, yeah. Stacked off counter spell. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta try you it gotta try. at some point. Firm try one. So yeah, <laughs> die die must try. Hello, wish you all good. Uh, Twenty seventeen. Hi Zoot Fina. Uh, yeah. Uh, nice of you to join us on the stream. I know that uh, yeah, we don't usually get uh people from Netherlands tuning into the stream, but you do. So thank you, thank you for watching. Yeah. Uh, Sanctum of Ugin here gonna hit the battlefield. He's gonna cast the Colossus and then see what happens. Uh, oh, summary dismissal will be a big blowout though. Oh, yeah, summary dismissal gonna gonna blow out the. Uh, it's going to be a blowout, but he's gonna cast it at, at some point of time. So he goes for Metal World Colossus number one, and that's probably going to hit a uh, summary dismissal. Okay, that's fine. Uh, next turn he's gonna just cast another one and um, that's probably gonna resolve so let's take does he have it though? let's see yeah he does he does okay. second one uh, coming on his way oh, no, no yeah then he is out of uh, counter spells right now so and yeah. going out with the caravan first okay caravan not gonna get countered and that's one two three four five six seven eight nine which means that he only needs to pay two for the uh, metal work colossus so you can cast a metal work colossus and then cast it and get another one and then get cast another metal work colossus and then good game Most likely spelling the end for Danny here, but, uh, yeah he's Lewis, does at least uh, read that Danny has out of con spells though i don't know he should just go for it okay, okay so, it so confirm suspicions going to hit that uh okay. hit that all right so very good play very heads up play from at Lewis, uh yeah. Trying to scout out the, the counter spell with the caravan first. Yeah, so um, confirm suspicions. Uh, pretty good card. Well, let's see whether Danny has uh, drew into a um, what's that? The torrential gear hawk. Okay, so he goes off with a hadron archive. Okay. Hadron archive that's for two mana. We'll cast the first colossus. Mm -hmm. Colossus number one hits the battlefield. Gonna sacrifice. Uh, then he here looking for an answer, but that's not 
a counter spell. Maybe he wants to go for negate. Uh, there's no negate though. Yeah. One thing to note uh, to note here is that Danny Seed does not really have an answer to Colossus after he resolves. Yeah, unless that's he has like a really charged up Hunter's Lightning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 Hunter, <laughs> like really Hunter's really a lot of really lightning. Like this, <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Okay, so uh, he looks for the Elder Deep Fiend. Okay. He's probably going to be casting the second, uh, what you call it, the Deep Colossus, uh, Colossus and then like Elder Deep Fiend. Fiend. Yeah, he's got, uh, oh no, he didn't look for the other Colossus, yeah, so... Yeah. Which is kind of strange. Yeah, this is not what you should. Have, yeah, this is not what you should have been looking for. I think since he, I think since he, uh, he, he decided, I think he since resolved he, the. Yeah, since he resolved it, he, he, sh he should. Then it, he should read that. Then he's out of counter spell, so he should just go with aggro and like. Yeah. Put the clock on him. Uh well, Danny does have an answer to uh the metalwork colossus, of course, just to cast. Uh, what's his name? The zero four thing in the ice, and now that try to bounce it. Yeah. So well, that's not really an answer. That's uh, yeah. It's it, no. You, I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's not an answer, but like you, it's you, something. It's something. Well, it's better than nothing. Well, that's torrential gearhawk. Torrential gearhawk. Uh, turn just too late. Oh. Wah, wah. Womp womp. Let's see so, what he does. Though. Torrential gearhawk can block, but it doesn't deal enough damage. And okay, so. And then he's just going to pass the turn. turn. Okay, so Alu is just probably going to. Oh, he didn't. Doesn't crack the uh, okay. metal workers puzzle lot. Interesting. So he just metal he does go for the attack though, poking in to see if then uh, he does have anything to respond with. All right, Kelvin is asking what is seat on today. Seat is on blue red control. Just Maybe straight up blue red control. Just took, uh, if you know Jeffrey's deck, he just took Jeffrey's deck from the store and just plays it, playing it right now. Is that Jeffrey's deck? That's yeah. That's Jeffrey's oh, okay. Deck. Alright, so Torrential Gear Hulk here, probably going to just probably draw him some cards, yep. likely. Just. Yeah, and, uh, at, at least seeing this should prompt him to cast more stuff in main phase 2. Okay, so uh, he does draw some things. Uh, at least can actually just cast, uh, what's his name? Elder Deep Fiend to tap down the. Uh, Harness Lightning. Harness Lightning for 3 points and then second Harness Lightning for 6 points. Ouch. That takes down, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Torrential Gale Hawk and he's going to take 11. Now then he really needs another answer here. Oh, it's just 10. How is this 10? Yeah, oh 10. yeah, yeah. Metal World Colossus is 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> <laughs> you so lame. Yep. I uh, know. So Danny Seed, despite, <laughs> having, such a, despite having the stack 10 and the loss of lands, can't really answer to that resolve metal work colossus. Well, he does have the zero four, so that's true. That's not so bad. Which then Ed Lewis can just cast uh what's his name uh Elder Deep Fiend mm -hmm. like hard cast Elder Deep Fiend and just yes, tap it down. It, yeah. 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 If and if he does summon this, oh boy. But then he doesn't have the mana to torrential gear hulk. Flash when did him. when did Danny draw another torrential gear hulk? Yeah, and he doesn't have enough mana to torrential gear hulk again. So yeah. this might be bad juju. Oh. Alright, so Galvanic okay, Bombardment oh, 1. Then he going for the quick, uh, quick the, flip. The flip, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Harness Lightning. Harness Lightning, okay. Okay. Does it die? Wait, it dies? How does it die? No, no, it doesn't die. It doesn't die. So that's, uh, he can do for 7. Oh, so it's emerging LD Fiend, okay. Wait, what? Oh man, I am um, curious. Strange. Okay, okay. So he taps down the rest of his mana, revolutionary rebuff going to take that out. Wait, and that's that? fine. That's uh Hunter's Lightning, okay, to kill that. Mm hmm mm. Okay, so Ed Lewis can actually just bring it back. By sacrificing sure, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh not a big issue. I'm still quite confused <coughs> by the last... Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of confused. Like, I honestly am confused because there was just a Harness Lightning and a Galvanic Bombardment. The Galvanic Bombardment will deal 3, the Harness Lightning can deal... Oh, the Harness Lightning can deal 7. Oh, the, he had that much energy? Yeah, he had 4 points of energy because ah, okay, he had 2... Okay. This thing. Okay, okay, so... I'll bet, I'll bet, like, he could have just killed the... We're not good. We're not, we're not that good players. Mm. So, yeah, resolves the Colossus again. 
We'll see if Danny can flip it up. Flip up the table. Uh, he probably can flip it. But, uh, you know, despite him flipping it, I don't think, you know, that's there's this, this a proper out after that. Because mm-hmm. mm. he'll have to cast... Okay, so to flip it, Ed, uh, Ed Lewis needs to cast a spell, but I I think Ed Lewis should be smart enough uh, not to cast any spells because uh, Danny is playing a counter deck. Like, if Danny can't counter anything, then he can't, you know, yeah, can't he just cast can't cast spells. Yeah, exactly. So he could have a little bit less value that well, is to cast. Danny the... can still uh, hunter sliding and then torture kill out. Oh, and back. you see, you see, you oh, cast no. the spell. You cast the spell. And that's what happens. And there goes the rebuff. Choosing to pay. Okay, so this is where I think experience matters a lot. Okay, and then he goes for another rebuff. And then rebuff. Okay, so I think you let this go. It flips. And then you cast it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Okay. You just cast it again. That's not so bad. Uh, and then Danny is still now again down to. Yeah, uh, uh, Danny now down to trying to f- fight his way through a, uh, a battle world colossus. Okay, so now uh, Danny is probably just going to attack with the uh, the, the awoken horror. horror. Yeah. And if Eloise knows anything about Danny's deck, just he would don't block. block. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay, oh, he so he does. chooses not to. Yeah, he chooses not to. They, they just don't have it in hand anyway. Does not risk it. Maybe. Yeah, Who knows? Probably. Okay, so at Lewis, let's see. See, so you gave up your like. Uh, you could draw the card off of the metal spinner's puzzle box. Yeah, you could. And I think you should. Uh, so he's gonna block and harness lightning. So both creatures die. That's yeah. fine. Uh, you can recur it back. No problem. Yeah, you can recur it. And you can st- can he recur it? Yeah, he yeah. has this thing. He can r- right now. What you should do is just to draw off the either the metal spinner's puzzle box or to draw off the uh, head draw eye card. But those are his only two uh, artifacts left, though. So, yeah, you know where the mistake was this game mm-hmm. was to look for the elder deep fin. Yeah, yeah. You should have just gone for the second just colossus went, yeah, went because there's room. yeah, there's no way your opponent's gonna be able to deal with that unless. He has, uh, uh, you know, Elder Deep Fiend. Mm-hmm. Another thing to note that uh, I don't think Eloise should have emerged the Elder Deep Fiend from the... Yeah, the exactly. Game. You could just, like, hard cast it. Just don't do anything in your turn. I think people kind of... Uh, I, th- I think at some point, like, not doing anything during your turn, not doing anything during your turn is, uh, is correct. Is the correct play. Sometimes. Sometimes, like, and, and you need to, you need to be... You need to you be know. aware of those times. Yeah, you need to be aware of those times. Uh, Jack-Jack402 saying that thing should be at one counter. No, thing w- should have been at zero counters. Uh, there were four spells that were cast uh, two previously yeah. in doing that turn. Uh, so yeah, just, okay, so just saying. Anticipate and probably going to Whoa, get the Torrential uh, Gear Hulk. Is that Torrential or Glimmer? Yeah, that's the Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay. So probably gonna cast a torrential gear hawk just to be able to block. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, oh, those, oh, those are, the those are one ones from the spawning the bit. All right. So then he takes all those mana. Is he gonna hard cast it for this? Yeah, thing? just ca- okay. cast the torrential gear hawk. Uh, flashback. Let's say a galvanic bombardment. I don't think you should flashback a galvanic bombardment. Flashback uh, a glimmer. Uh, glimmer. Or a dissipate if he doesn't have a glimmer, I guess. Uh, glimmer is good. Okay, don't think he has Glimmer. Ah, yeah. man. Why do you do the governing bomb? Okay, so he's going to block two creatures. Uh, Eloise mm-hmm. goes down to... Sorry. Uh, um, Danny goes, Danny goes down to nine, yeah. Okay. But Eloise looks like he's out of options. Okay. So oh, no. Don't. What, don't. Why? Why are you doing that? You see, what, what's he doing? Is he he's blocking. Why are you blocking? Oh, okay. That's... Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. So th- 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 now we come down to like a series of plays that you are making because uh, you know, you're, you're in the wrong headspace. Yeah, now you want to finish off the game, you're, tel- you're telling yourself, okay, I need to kill Danny. Uh, and now, but 
you know, you should be in the right space, which means that, okay, I can raise him. Okay. I should be able to, like, kill him off without him, uh, you know, to without having to lose too much life because the Torrential Gilhawk is 5 damage. So 5 damage is not going to deal you much. Like, you, you want to push as much damage to Danny as possible. He's at 8. Right now, just now he was at 9. Yeah. Uh, this turn you could have like hit him down to 7 or 6 just using all your tokens. You know, not block yeah, the last yeah. turn. You could have just went with the Swarm. Yeah. Or Drazi Swarm. And you can draw from the Hadron Archive. I'm sorry, but like you, you should be drawing. Yeah. yeah. Draw cards and you should have been drawing that the last turn. Okay, See, so console, uh, console's uh, flagship is useful. Hey, you have three spawns. Okay, that's the that's the foundry dude. So foundry, uh, foundry guy probably gonna get countered. Nope. Nope. Okay. Still survives and he passes the turn. So, had he had drawn last turn, yeah, we have drawn the foundry guy. We have drawn the sky the skyship, skyship sovereign spaceship of doom. Yeah. And you know, so yeah. there's there's a lot of things that you know you have to think of in advance. You have to know. You have to understand what your deck has. Mm -hmm. And what's the probability of you like drawing cards in that deck? So, um, you know, it's very important. And now, you know, Gavadic Bombardment is going to take down the Foundry in yeah. Chief so now, Foundry. I don't know. What the hell is that card? I I'll, Foundry, Foundry. What, what, da, da, da. Chief of the Foundry or something? Is it Chief of the Foundry? No, Chief of the Foundry is the Foundry Inspector. Foundry oh. Inspector. Yeah, in my head, it was Foundry Inspector. But then I thought, <laughs> hmm. How can an artifact be an inspector? Shouldn't a person be an inspector? But then the artifact has sentience, so it probably can inspect all the other <laughs> artifacts. I don't know, man. Well, so now we Stop see uh, now we see Ed Lewis's Ed Lewis's mistakes see, trickle down like into his loss. And he's going yeah he he he's going down a route where you know it, this is not going to help him a, at all. It's a slope. Yeah, and he, he's put himself in the wrong headspace. Yep. So you you need to you know. You need to know what you need to have to win the game. So, the I have to say the mistake or like the turning point where I've been very very long ago. Yeah, yeah. Not look for the Elder Deep Fiend. Look for the third Metal Work Colossus. You you were able to you have been able to cast it that turn, and then you'd have two ten tens on the battlefield of which Danny can deal with maybe one. Or if that turn he didn't have anything, you can deal with anyone and die. Immediately take 20 and just die. die. So, uh, there you did not identify, you know, Eloise wasn't ident able to identify the line oh. to win, yeah, the window of opportunity where he knows that Danny doesn't have any counter spells. He knows that Danny probably has no way to deal with it uh, outside a thing in the ice. And even if you bounce it with thing in the ice, mm -hmm. you'll be able to cast it again. Right? Yeah. Like you just you just two mana, hey, I got another ten ten. Hey, yeah, I got another ten ten. It's here? Yeah, it's here. It's over here. So now he goes for another foundry inspector. Uh okay. So this is also dangerous. Like Eloise knows already that how the interaction worked. When he cast a spell, yeah. Danny previously bounced everything with the thing, the ice, from countering it, just playing counter spells and countering it. And, uh, you know, making sure that the thing in the eyes uh, counters tick down. So, here, committing yet another, they say, I, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, it, uh, it doesn't feel nice for me to this thing, but I think this is where, uh, you know, you, you just didn't identify, like, what's happening in the game, and you're not processing it properly. Hmm. And uh, previously, you know, he got blown out because he started casting a spell, one spell, and that caused the uh, thing in the eyes to flip. So... Yeah, she just, she just went through the creatures what we had on the board. Yeah, don't, don't need to cast a spell because, you know, Danny's, Danny's going to be able to... Oh, there, there Yep. Is. So Void Shatter is going to hit the battlefield. It's going to flip. It's going to push everything back to hand. And I think that's it for the, that's it for the game. Because... You know, you, know you, you, you talk about casting spells like... Uh, don't, not... not Casting spells, Danny being able to counter them, right? Yeah. Danny, know. okay, so Danny can also just cast his own spell and then counter his own spell. Yeah. Yeah, but that's, that means that he's spending resources to, you know, to not deal with your things. Yeah, yeah. He's dealing with his own things, which is, well, it's going to win you the game. Like, yeah, he's, he's spending way too many resources just to deal with your one thing, which is a 10-10 on the battlefield. But you know what? What would have solved all that? What? 
another metal work colossus. So no. the colossus. Yeah, the yeah. So, <laughs> so I mean, we 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 know. I mean, it, it's easy for us to say we yeah. have like hundred percent information, but uh, these are things that you can infer in the game. So all you have to do is just take your time. Just slow down when you play the card. You know, and when your opponent plays something, just it's always an indication of what he or she has in hand. Just look at his mana, red, blue. Can he deal with a metal colossus that resolves? Yeah. No, you look him in the face. Okay. Look him in the face. And you are you got or not? Got or not? Hey, you have you don't have don't you have then die. die yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to game two. Uh if you're just joining us, you're watching the SCG game night here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick, I'm one of your hosts, alongside the future pro of Yan Put. What's up guys? And uh joining us in the back seat is actually you know, usually you should be in the front seat, right? Yeah, Driving yeah. the car. Normally he goes with me. Yeah, usually no, usually you should be <laughs> in the front seat, because otherwise we you know yeah. if we're in the front seat and you're in the back seat, then there's a problem. Oh, uh behind us is uh Peter Ong. Oh yeah. no, Jack Jack, we can't say that on stream. Yeah, no, I cannot. We can't say that on stream. Well, I did. Well, I don't know. Maybe so at some point in time, yeah. No, you uh, famous, you you're famous. You're famous, basically. What? 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 Vic! <laughs> wow, Jack Jack four zero two. Wow, I am. I am appalled. Appalled. I'm appalled. This is yeah. No, no. That almost deserves a ban, but uh, I might. I agree of you. I agree. Agree with you on some level, but uh, let's not disparage the players because I do it enough. I do more than enough of it. <laughs> uh, I, don't so yeah. this, I don't think that warrants a ban of any kind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just ban people off the channel. Got I don't them. like people watching Got us playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. I like, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, you don't see me. You don't mean see me shave like the the sides off every day. I want a Hitler stash. You want a Hitler stash? Yeah. No, you don't. So people can punch me. You look so, you know, you look so, you look dumb with a Hitler stash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look really, I think you yeah, look yeah, pretty not, bad. Not, not that you say it, not, not, that, I, not that I visualize it. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, Malay guys can't pull it off. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like true. Indonesian Malays cannot pull it off. Even Chinese, eh, Chinese dudes can't pull it off. Uh, Some people. No, man. The Hitler stash is like specifically for Europeans. Can Indians pull it off? I feel. What? I think, I think Indians can. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you need uh, like a certain head, yeah, yeah, you head certain, type, like yeah, a yeah, face yeah. type and head type. It's a very particular face type and head type, so it's kind of strange. Think, I think Hitler pulled it off quite well. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> uh, all right. If you're just joining us, you're watching the SCG game night here at Grey Ogre Games. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside the future pro, Alfian Putin. Soon to be an actual Soon pro. To be, yeah. I'm going to win the PTQ this weekend. Oh, nice. You know what? I'm I'm not even going to bother with the PPTQ. I'm just going to play the last chance qualifiers. Nice. And like because I know I can make it. You know you have you you you're the one. I know I good. Uh, you know the you're the one the one the, the one, one, one the one the one the one the one the one. I am the one. Don't need a gun to get respect. I'm on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay. So it's the match between Danny C and Luis Ang. If you're new to all of this, it's three rounds of real people playing real cards of magic. Tonight is standard. If you join us tomorrow night on Wednesday, 8 p.m. Singapore time, you can watch either Modern or Frontier. You're casting it tomorrow, yeah, right? Yes, I think it's. I think it'll be me yeah. and some. I think it'll be me. I think I'll grab Wilson or Mark. Maybe I'll probably get. I'll probably grab Mark if he's not too busy. Yeah, grab Mark. Uh, yeah, but you guys need to. You guys need to like work on our chemistry. Yeah, work on that. Work on that important thing called chemistry because yeah. uh, you know, I think uh, I went to go and review some of the videos. You and you and uh Peter are like good, good yeah. together. Yeah, we have. We have uh, yeah, but Peter drives the conversation, so yeah, that's yeah. that's the that's the he's good the part. He's the driver. Yeah, he's. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man. We are do you so hear good at this. <laughs> do you hear that? Like, I want, I want Peter to hear that. Like, Peter drives the conversation. Because uh, that's, that's quite funny. Okay, okay back to the game. Back to yeah. the game. Anyway, Alice Ang uh, goes to turn 2, Primary Prison, draws a card. Looks like a sector of Ogin. Tennessee Seed draws Negate, uh, plays the uh, Spyglass Canals, and passes the turn. Back to Alice Ang, drops the Sanctum of Ogin, and passes the turn again. Oh, Yay. no, wait, no, he. Drops a two drop this time. Uh, Glynness Crane. All right, let's see if he hits anything from this. Man, you're like the baseball uh, play to play <laughs> announcer. You don't have to announce that people can watch. He got better work. The, he got better work colossus in hand. No, no, okay, no, sorry. It's the puzzle not. Oh, it's the puzzle not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like you, <laughs> you don't have to describe all the plays. Like I, what I love about doing the cast. 
Uh, and I watch a lot of baseball. I used to watch a lot of baseball. When you do the cast, uh, you know, you should you really should treat it like baseball. And how baseball commentary goes is like this: they start off the game, they introduce, hey, there's this, there's these two teams, and then they show you the lineup. Number one, uh, number one to nine plus the designated hitter. Sorry, one to eight plus the designated hitter. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they start the game, and then they don't talk about baseball anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the um, generally, generally uh, the yeah. case. Anyways, uh, let me see the head that they get up for the cultivated caravan. For so. Cal- yeah, so cultivated caravan is actually a key piece in Ed Lewis's deck. Yeah, and it's at uh, discounts for three mana and adds, even adds mana on its own. Yeah, so that's a like four mana discount, and actually even more key is the. Hadron Archive, which uh, he's, he's not going to cast right now. Yep, he's going to uh, just uh, look for more stuff. Yeah, Danny here being very patient, uh, you know, seeing which um, which cards that he needs to counter. Yeah. And uh, that clearly isn't one of them. He's going to Glimmer of Genius and end step to look for more answers. But he doesn't really has the Void Shadow in hand, so that one's going to be pretty good. One thing to note, yeah, what you said about uh, choosing what to counter is uh, mm. it's as if at Louis' uh, deck is a kind of like a, a Jenga tower, you know. You <laughs> find a part yeah. to take out, then it holds. It's called it, it's called a combo deck, and you take out the combo piece. Yeah, that's true. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 it's like taking a pu- it's like taking a, a puzzle piece out of the puzzle. Yeah. There you go. Where the fu- where's the puzzle piece, man? Where's the where's the where 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 I really like Fatal Push though. This is Sparta. Fatal yeah. Push. Yeah, that's this a, is Sparta. This that's is so good, cute. That's a good removal, right? That's a good... Destroy target creature if it has converted mana cost 2 or less. So it destroys a Tamagoyf. Destroys Copter. Destroys Copter. Destroy target uh, creature if it has converted mana cost 4 or less. Instead, if a permanent you control left the battlefield. So you know what I love about Revolt? It is definitely making its way into modern and frontier. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what leaves the battlefield? Fetch land. Fetch land. Or evolving so, yeah. walls. Or evolving walls, yeah. So, That's exciting. But fetch, yeah. <laughs> but fetch land is so good. Which is why I love this card, Green Wheel Liberator. And this card is gonna be hilarious oh, in it's frontier. Be super value. Turn two, fetch land. Four three. Four three. Turn oh, two. Yeah, su- Mono green stompy, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Uh, it's I, just I like insane. the design of Consulate Dreadnought, no? Yeah. Uh, uh, Consulate Dreadnought and uh, what's that? There's an enchantment. There's an enchantment. Yeah, Siege Modification. So uh, you put it on the vehicle or creature, it gets plus 3 plus 0 in her first try. If you, cru- if you placed it on a vehicle... Mm-hmm. It, it becomes, becomes a creature. A creature. So on oh, one poop. mana, one mana, you one mana plus that three mana enchantment, yeah. you get a 10, 11 first strike Holy consulate poopy. dreadnought. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, nothing to note that uh, consulate dreadnought, they put it on six because if they put it on five, you know, you know what's going to happen. What? Lupi prototype. Oh, Lupi prototype. Oh, yeah. Oh, she. Holy smokes. I gotta make that happen. I I I, 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 call, I call it from the start when the crew mechanic was in, announced. Lupine prototype, prototype is gonna, gonna have the, something. It's gonna be the stuff, man. This is the stuff. This is the stuff. This it's gonna sh- come. It's this is the come. shits. This is the shits, man. This the, is the, stuff. the shits. The dank kush. Yeah. Uh, still dies to fatal push. Yep. New meme card. <laughs> <laughs> still, still dies to Fatal Push. Yeah, still dies to Doom Blade. Everything still dies to Doom Blade. So yeah, <laughs> there was a podcast called Dies to Doom Blade. They were boring. That's rude. Like us. Yeah. <laughs> but we are. Uh, we persevere. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like Danny is sort of in control of the game. And Louis here not being able to resolve anything. Danny has he, massive, massive card lead. Or, yeah, uh, just drop the Torture Gear out. Void You're going to void shatter that or yeah. Sarabon's rejection. Void shatter. 
Uh, oh, so yeah, yeah just to negate. Cool. Um, want to leave the con spells for like mm. other guildhouse to take. Yeah, and here Elo is just going to take five, take five, take five, take five. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen thirty-six. That's right. Pharaoh push. Pharaoh push. Uh, which Pharaoh. is uh, this, this is Sparta. I should go. To, I should go to on like the MTG MTG shit posting groups and just like set, have, to, have those edits. <laughs> Pharaoh push edits. <laughs> uh, is Pharaoh push? A, oh, it's an uncommon. It's okay, an cool. Yeah, it's that's instant. The, yeah, that's the brilliant part about it. How can How can? How can? can why not? Be, how can this be instant? It's so good. Uh, there's this thing called mob. Uh, what's the? Morbid. Uh, tragic slip. Oh yeah, yeah. Tragic slip, the best removal. One of the best removals it uh ever ever created in standard. You die, I die, everyone. No, but the guy's not. Uh, the guy's not attached to you. You kick him off, yeah. and then that's it. He dies. It's, it's like you kick no, him off. Not, the best pin comes in. It's just you die. That's it. Yeah, you <laughs> die. Your, your creature die. And you know how to activate it? You use uh, fetch lands. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah Evolve also so so bad. Oh, you know, you know what can use? You got the few, man. You can use oh, that. You know what? I uh, yeah, I was thinking about it. The Green Wheel Liberator, you can do it in standard on turn two. You know what produces two extra ma uh, two mana? What is free for you to sacrifice? Terrarion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Turn two, you get a four three, man. So pretty good. I don't think that's gonna happen though. I don't know. That, Who knows? I, I think people are gonna just make that. Uh, what's that? The activate the vehicle activation guy. What's the, the two mana three mana Which six? One? The one white. Act Turns it into a creature. Oh, the one one generic and one white. Yeah. Uh, I forget what's it in the. Uh, anyway, the Danny just handily cleans up at Lewis. No control deck still beats uh. uh See, this is how you do a magic co commentary. We're not watching the stream at all. Like, yeah. we know that Danny has got like the <laughs> nut draw. Yeah, like we I didn't mean, have to tell you anything that you didn't know. I mean, that, besides uh, the first yeah. match where Eloise made that fatal mistake. Yeah, that, that, that's that's uh something that we ha had to highlight. But uh, you know, Eloise, I think just this match didn't keep a didn't keep a stellar hand. Yeah, just and uh, just fell part. behind. Yeah, I just fell behind. Like sure, drawing and drawing and drawing is is nice. But uh, against Danny, what you need is really just to drop that. Uh, the base, the, the base, yeah. Bam, bam, punch the you. Metalwork Colossus. All right. Uh, we're done for tonight. If you want to listen to more spoilers, and you want to listen to me and Alfian talk about the spoilers. Uh, do tune in to the Power po Power Nine podcast next week. This week we talked about our predictions for twenty seventeen. Oh yeah, it was fun. It's a fun episode. It's every yeah. episode is a fun episode, yeah. except for the ones that I have to edit, which is every episode. So are they fun or not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to go off for the night. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah. Remember, you can catch us on... Hey, thank you. I got my phone back. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you can catch us every Tuesday and Thursday night. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday nights for the... Uh, SCG. For the stream, yeah. Tuesday nights is well, oh, oh, standard. Wednesday nights oh, is oh, modern. To mention this too, uh, this, is, this this month is the last month for SCG. Oh yeah, right? for yeah for this store, we're stopping to do SCG game night. We're converting Tuesdays and Wednesdays into something different. Still the same format. So yeah. if you love to watch games of Magic, do tune it's, in. It's, honestly, it's still the same thing. Just. A do you know the SCG game night down there? It's yeah, it's we're going to title. change it. So we're going That's to the only we're going to do this. It's going to be uh, standard night Tuesday. Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? At Grey Ogre Games, uh, and you you find out in two weeks time, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's week, as week. that's as much as we can tell you. Mm -hmm. And if you're in Singapore, you know, do come down and play, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hella fun. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh. Next thing that I want to say is you Check can catch us on the weekends. Yeah, yeah. Like this weekend, Saturday, we have the Hearthstone Tournament. Oh, I'll update yeah. the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash uh, Ogre Games. And even if you miss those tournaments, it's okay. Just head on down to youtube.com slash Ogre Games to catch all the replays because we record everything that we do. And even if we don't record, we just go onto the stream. And after that, we... Oh, we, nice album. Let's see, uh, oh, nice <laughs> album. Uh, we go onto the stream. And then we we grab all them video, yeah. And then we put it onto YouTube's, oh, yeah, for your enjoyment. 
Uh, last but not least, do listen to the guys at Power9 Podcast, power9podcast.com. Every week, myself and Alfian and Kaz, and sometimes Edwin, probably once a year, uh, <laughs> we get together and we talk about the things that really do matter in this little game called Magic the Gathering. Not oh, sure if yeah. you heard of it. Uh, so yeah, this week we talked about our expectations and our predictions for 2016. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, we didn't talk about our expectations. I expect to win a GP this year. Well, so. this, let's just say I have great <laughs> expectations great this expectation. year. Oh, man. By that's a lousy book. Uh, really? That's actually a, that's actually a pretty uh, good book. Uh, 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 Jane Austen, Jane Austen is fantastic. Uh, Jane Austen? Uh, yeah. Have you read the, the picture of Dorian Gray though? Is that great accent? No, that's not great expectations, dude. No, <laughs> oh my god. No, no, I'm talking about a different book. What book are you talking about? The picture the, of Dorian Gray. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Great Expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I'm talking about the, the different book now. So this is by what? Charles Dickens. You... So this is by Charles oh, Dickens. Sorry, this is Charles Dickens. Yeah, yeah Great Expectations. My bad. Uh, know, it's uh, Prime Prejudice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, I'm not, I don't read that much. You, uh, I really not... don't like reading. I honestly don't like I reading. Don't read. well, well, Man, I hate reading. Why? Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, listen to the Power 9 Podcast. Go tune in every Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see, see you. you guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>